Miss Copia virtually. And uh, with me, there is a CEO of uh, Macedonia Stock Exchange, Mr. Ivan Striev. Thank you, Mr. Striev, for joining me. Uh, hello, Armanuhi. Uh, thank you for inviting me. Uh, as the, this complicated year is coming to the end, and we are going to the next year, what are the key strategic initiatives of uh, Macedonia Stock Exchange that you are working in at this moment, and what are the goals for 2021? Yes, of course, although this year is very difficult uh, due to the pandemic and all these consequences, life goes on, so we have to think uh, about the future, of course. And uh, on your question, I can uh, stress a few of the, let's say, strategic projects we, we are uh, uh, having and planning or already implementing regarding uh, forthcoming period. Let's say the uh, projects that are focused on uh, improving the situation on the supply side of our market are development of the new code for corporate governance. We obtained some uh, support from EBRD on this as well. We, together with uh, the consultants that were uh, hired by EBRD, they're from the UK, we are, let's say, uh, working on this new corporate governance code and with the aim that 2021 will be the year in which first we will pass the code formally and then we will go with the comprehensive program of training of our listed companies. Currently, we have around 100 listed companies. So it's quite ambitious, let's say, plan with some very important changes in the content of the code. Uh, in our case, for some of the companies, the code is uh, mandatory. We should see what will be the uh, future impact of the code uh, to these companies. Maybe some other thing on the demand side. Uh, we are trying to set up a kind of pre-listing program, mm -hmm. but for now this is only uh, at the very beginning because financing should be completed on that. And also we are very active in promoting a functional crowdfunding scheme. Uh, actually, we are uh, in partnership with Zagreb Stock Exchange uh, because they, together with the Estonian company Funderbim, they uh, have operational scheme. Uh, and we uh, are trying to find some companies. Of course, there will not be uh, corporations. There, there will be limited liability companies. But we think this is very important uh, for our market on the long term because first we are promoting this uh, financing culture. And also, if we are uh, successful, some of these companies on the long term can be candidates for listing as well. On the demand side of the market, strategically, we are, as uh, in all these years uh, uh, behind us, we are very devoted to the regional cooperation, sealing company uh, that is order routing uh, cross-border platform here in Southeast Europe. And through that platform and through the regional cooperation in general, we are trying and we will try to attract some more foreign investors on the market because not only this COVID year, but this year in particular, our market is mostly relying on domestic investors, mm -hmm. retail investors. So we uh, are lacking this foreign portfolio investors and this is our main priority. And maybe at the very end about this question, we are also facing the next year, uh, year in which the complete harmonization of the legislation should take place. So although Macedonia is not a EU country, uh, strategically, our government decided to go in the full harmonization with the legislation. So although this is not our project, of course, as a stock exchange, the consequences for us and our members will be let, uh, comprehensive and mm -hmm. we will have to accommodate to that. So I guess in 2021, the new legislation will, will come into effect and we will have to adjust our operation. Great. So uh, very ambitious plans and uh, good luck with this. Okay, we, we, we are doing our best. <laughs> and coming uh, back to, uh, you mentioned EBR, the regional cooperation. 
So a um, question about the um, one initiative you together with six partners and with EBRD launched this year. It was a listed SME research hub and uh, your exchange is one among one of the partners. What's the first impression and the feedback of this project after uh, five months? Yeah, thank you for this question, because if we are speaking about this year, one of the main achievements and positive developments uh, were exactly uh, deriving from this project. So uh, we uh, have our three blue chip companies subject of this uh, research project, again, supported and financed by EBRD. Uh, the company that is doing this uh, research is Wood Investment. And actually, in our case, as in the past, we did not have, unfortunately, systematic and continuous research of our shares. Now we have this through this project. And what is most important, it is not for the client of this uh, brokerage uh, company, financial intermediary, but it is uh, free of charge publicly available to everybody it is published in english language so actually it's a it's with potential global reach we had uh, uh, inception reports of two of the three companies from macedonia that are part of the project one bank and one pharmaceutical company they were uh, uh, made uh, publicly available actually in september and in October, and it was a really very good impact. We uh, were quite uh, uh, satisfied and uh, uh, because the first uh, recommendation were buy and hold, but with price targets that were slightly above the current market price. So definitely the turnover dynamics uh, accelerated after uh, publishing of this report. Of course, now in the next two years, it will be quarterly updates, flash notes and everything. So it is very good for our market, the process for uh, price discovery. I, I hope it will be uh, additionally improved. And also, which is strategically very important, we hope that these reports will also be a kind of uh, stimulation or guideline for domestic financial intermediaries mm -hmm. to start to do the same in the future with our main company. So for us, it, it is very good project and a good achievement uh, until now. Uh and what about the another project that you mentioned already, the um, SE link? Does these two projects are connected? And um, what about the SE link? Is a bit detailed. SE link is a little bit older project compared with this one about the company research. SE link is uh, in the same time project, but also it's a company. The company is based here in, in, in Skopje. The company is owned by Zagreb Stock Exchange from Croatia, Bulgarian Stock Exchange, Sofia and Macedonia Stock Exchange, Skopje. So we are owners of the company, but the company is actually running uh, order routing uh, software platform who is connecting broker systems or broker offices of our members. We were initiating members, but then few other exchanges from our region joined, which are Ljubljana, Slovenia, Belgrade, Serbia, and two exchanges from Bosnia, Banja Luka and Sarajevo. So now actually seven markets are uh, involved, few brokers from each market, and they're using uh, this order routing platform to connect between themselves. Uh, it's still early phase, although few years uh, passed. There are many challenges with uh, settlement uh, in particular, sporadic trades through the platform from time to time. But we learned that through this cooperation, which is now not only in words, but it's more tangible. We have company, as I said. Now we can not only uh, work on this order routing platform promotion and development, but also opening 
other uh, projects in order to uh, strengthen the cooperation. So this research project was in a way add on on this order routing platform. We uh, discussed with EBRD, who is a great uh, supporter of the markets here in the region. And in order to minimize this information asymmetry between the markets, uh, trying to give uh, bro to brokers and investors additional information about the uh, regional companies, this research project was actually initiated. And actually, Ceiling and Ceiling website became the main source for dissemination of this uh, company research report. So there is actually both in indirect strategic connection between Ceiling and this project, but also direct connection as we are actually disseminating this report uh, through our website. And uh, the last development is that we will, or EBRD will broaden the scope of the countries which are covered uh, by this research project. Ceiling website will be a dissemination point. And now actually we have some companies from the Baltic countries that are part of the research project and disseminating through our website. So you are growing with all your projects. And uh, I like the, the idea of combining all these strategic things in, uh, in one like global view. Uh, I, I really, really like this. Uh, as all these strategic things, they are also related to the technology. Where is your country standing in terms of adopting new technologies and new trades? And um, in this trends uh, adaptation process, where is your stock exchange? We are a small country, size of the economy, side of the market is uh, quite uh, limited. And of course, although we are following all these uh, modern uh, technology trends and developments, frankly, the needs of the market and of the participants are not uh, in this uh, extent like in the developed markets. Mm -hmm. On the other hand, one of the main challenges of all these small markets are how to finance all these uh, technology improvements and directly answering your question, our main focus is to find ways how to improve the technology of all market participants, not, so, so not only ours as a market operator, but also to our members. And we are trying this uh, in a, uh, to do in a centralized manner. For example, our stock exchange is uh, in the same time main uh, IT provider of software provider to our member firms. So the broker office of our software of our member firm is actually uh, provided by us. And we are trying to, to add as many features as possible and needed to this market uh, and finance that, which is, and then uh, reimburse from the, from the member. So for example, the last, uh, project that we are considering. It's in a research phase. As in Macedonia, liberalization of foreign exchange regime was done recently. And our members for the first time had the opportunity to trade in behalf of their clients abroad. We are now trying to uh, use the uh, position we have as a software provider to our members in order to connect this uh, software uh, with some uh, foreign markets uh, put into this uh, platform, market data and execution models, uh, etc. So it is not very unique that Stock Exchange is supporting its members to trade at other market venues. But in our case, as this is inevitable process and we are software provider of our brokers, we are trying to first assist them and then open for us some new revenue stream. Uh, great to notice that you are also a, a provider, like a vendor for, for the whole the market, uh, which is which is a trend for stock exchanges now to, to, to become also a uh, technology provider. Good luck with this also. Thank you. It's quite, let's say, challenging and complex job. Yeah. And about other challenges uh, of this year, the 
the challenges of pandemic and we are, we are all facing this. How are you keeping the communication with your staff, with your members, with your partners uh, to make them be positive and to, uh, to move forward and to overcome these challenges? Uh, short answer is we change the manner of communication now as everywhere everything is virtual via internet via all these platforms we are trying to have permanent communication with our members both bilaterals but also in a multilateral way from time to time we uh, organized a kind of uh, workshop via via zoom platform with all directors of our members and we are doing that from time to time trying even to uh, reconnect in this new environment brokerage community among themselves so mm -hmm. more or less these are uh, the the mechanism that not only we as exchange but all exchanges have in this new environment and also maybe i can share with you this as well based on my previous answers, we are using our position of a software provider because we have also this uh, electronic trading modules for clients, so trading via internet. Mm -hmm. And as it is our software, because of the pandemic, we actually uh, this year are giving that free of charge to the retail investors and this is very well uh, received from the investor community because with this we are also protecting their health because it is it is uh, let's say uh, home office trading and uh, as this year the turnover is quite okay considering the, the overall environment the lost uh, revenue is compensated with the with, uh, increase of the turnover and these are very appreciated by our brokers and investors as well. Great. And the last question. In your personal opinion, what the life will, what life will look like uh, after pandemic? And uh, what are the major challenges that we will face, the humanity will face in the future? All right. Very, very deep and essential question. First, it will depend whether this pandemic and uh, bettering of situation will be gradual, which is most likely, or it will be a kind of sudden positive uh, event or moment. I hope or I assume uh, that it will be gradual because it's more rational to be like that. Uh, so, as consequences from the pandemic, the pandemic will not disappear very fast at one moment. Some of the consequences from the pandemic time will be a kind of consequences after the, let's say, peak of the pandemic. So, mm -hmm. to be more precise, some of the industries like hospitality industry, travel, and, uh, and, and, uh, and these sort of things, they will have their problems and need for adjustment after the peak of the pandemic, for sure, as some of these industries are quite interconnected with some other industries, this will affect uh, these uh, businesses as well. That will uh, actually result in change of some habits, both of the consumers and also business people. And it will be interesting process and some of the changes will be irreversible, I suppose. Second, uh, let's say, point that I can stress, which is uh, wide known, is that digitalization, IT aspects of the both of businesses and private lives will will be uh, even even more important which on the other hand will mean that maybe societies will have to watch developments of the it sector and maybe regulation of the it sector more in the future because it will be a logical question why societies are regulating, I don't know, finance industry, pharmaceutical, energy, and IT sector is becoming 
crucial infrastructure. So maybe uh, these issues will be also raised. So you know this is very very deep question i can i can touch many many other aspects but uh, i i guess uh, with this we can uh, close my answer thank you very much thank you for your invitation once again we are very uh, let's say fond that we were part of the fast uh, history currently we are uh, observer member would we are considering to change that and became again members so glad to be with you thank you very much and we are very much uh, hoping to have you and your stock exchange with us as a full member though you are a very good friend of FEAS and this is for for the whole lifetime thank you very much thank you thank you